hey what's up guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video so in this video guys we're going to continue working with our file image upload so in the previous video we have laid out this logic here which is we're checking if the user has uh, submitted a cover image or uploaded an image and then we're getting the file name and extension here and also we're getting the file name from the actual image that has been uploaded and now let's continue uh, adding to this logic so we have here the file name and then the next step is to get the extension okay so in order for us to do that we need to add a new variable extension and then by using the request uh, object we're going to uh, use the file method and then cover image and we're going to get the original client extension okay and next is we need to define a file name that we're going to store into our database so file name to store that will be path and then uh all right first we need yeah file name file file name to store equals the file name file name that we got from the actual file and then we're going to concatenate with an underscore and then time and then another uh, concatenation with the extension so this will be extension we're doing this because we're just uh, we're just trying to avoid if say for example the user uploads uh, a file or a, an image with the same file name so in order for us to solve that is we we get the file name and then we're adding underscore and then we're adding the time so it won't be a problem for us if the user will upload files or image that has the same name and the last part of that is we need to actually upload the image so that will be upload image we need to get the path and then request and then file again cover image and we need to store this store as we're going to store this on our public folder so public and then cover images we need to create this uh, directory and then the new file name will be file name to store and now whenever the user uh, upload a file so let's try to see database resources and then we have here the uh, storage and then app and then we have this public folder so it will create the cover underscore images uh, directory here but the problem is this public uh, directory is not accessible when you try to uh, open up uh, this directory in our browser so we need to make sure that all the changes that we are making here is reflected to the public folder here because this is uh, accessible to the web browser so in order for us to do that let's open up our terminal and we need to run a command to link this storage app public folder into our actual public folder so the command for that is php artisan and storage and then link so there you go the public storage directory has been linked 
So whatever changes that we're making here in our storage file or storage directory will be uh, reflected here in a public directory. Now the last thing that we want to do here is to actually save the file name to store. So that will be post and then the cover image equals the file name to store. Okay, save this and let's try it in our browser. So refresh and then add post. So new post with an image. This will be the body of the post with an image. Then we're just going to select a certain image and open and then submit. So we're getting an error here. The cover image must be an image. So I think the problem with this is here in our create uh, blade.php. So multi part slash it should be form data. So there you go, save and refresh. So new post with image test body and then browse for the actual image and then submit. So we're getting get client original image does not exist. So we have a typo here. So I think we're going to use instead of get client original image. So we're going to use get client original name. So that will be post controller and get client original name. So great. Right. And then post with image test, browse the image and submit. So we're getting a path in info underscore file name, so undefined constant. So we need to change that instead of just file, it should say file name. Uh, let's go back and refresh just to make sure and then new post test and browse the image and then submit so again we're getting the get original client ex uh, extension does not exist so i think we also have a typo so we're just going to copy this get client original extension so let's go back to our code editor and replace this with get client original extension so save that let's go back refresh and save another one so i hope it it will be successful this time so browse and then submit so there you go post created so new post with uh, image has been created and the next step that we're going to take is to display the image in our show post and also in our new post with image where we can actually see the individual post since we have successfully uploaded an image we can see here in our storage and then the cover image uh, directory has been created and we can see here the link of our storage directory with also the cover under uh, underscore images with the actual file or image that we have uploaded so let's try to view that in our php my admin so in here so post and we have new post and then uh, the body and of course the link or the file name of the uploaded file and actually we're just going to get rid of this records with no cover image so we're just going to delete that and let us now try to display the images coming from the database into our show and index blade.php so that will be uh, resources and then views 
and then index.php so we have here uh, display the post so before that it's just going to add a new div road so this is just a bootstrap tag and we're going to add another div this will be column md4 and also another one for another column so it should be eight and uh, we can just copy and paste this here and also we can we can remove this I think and just remove that and here we need to display the image so that will be image and then the source is coming from the storage directory and then cover images and the file name so this will be coming from our post and cover image and I'm just going to add a style here for our image which is the width should be 100% 100% so save this so refresh and then log so we're not getting any post here and if we try to go to our post we have one record so let's try to check our code here so index.play.php and we have here if greater than one and we have one record right now so it should be greater than zero so refresh so there you go we have the image and then we have the title here and also the written on uh, information so in the next video we're going to continue working on with this feature and also we're going to add that in our blog list and individual post here and also we're going to add the feature in our edit post where we can also edit or update the images so see you in the next video thanks